Chris is requesting an orange, so I'm going to make him one. Okay, who wants oranges? Do you guys want a breakfast sandwich with eggs and cheese and bacon? Tony has, why I can have some cold ones? Honey, you can't eat cold eggs. Why? Because they'll make you sick, but yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna make you guys breakfast, okay? And then if you want it, you can eat it. If not, you don't have to. The kids also this morning had these muffins that I made. This is like my special recipe. I they're basically protein muffins and they're delicious. I put protein powder in them to make sure they get enough protein because Snow especially is a picky eater, but these are so freaking good and the kids will always eat them. So always make sure to have those available for them. So yeah, they had that this morning. Now they're eating oranges and I'm gonna make them a breakfast sandwich. Let's do that now. Anyone else? Any other parents out there just need to breathe through the day? All right, so this is like my favorite thing. I don't know, it just makes me so happy to have farm fresh eggs. So the ones that are a little muddy, they give discounts, but we still like a dollar discount because usually they're $5, but we just give them $5 anyways. So we're, I just love the different colors. Like it just makes me really, really happy. But I think we still have some of the old ones in here that I need to probably finish. Although these will stay good for so long because they're literally from a farm. So I'll use those probably before we get into these ones. The kids are wanting Monster Mommy to come out. <laughs> They're like so obsessed with Monster Mommy. Oh, I forgot I had this basil back here. Uh, we got a basil plant and I took a bunch of the basil off to save for cooking. All right, here we go. Let's make some yummy breakfast sandwiches. I wanna learn how to make my own English muffins. I've seen it like on different platforms and people are making it, so. I want to try it. It doesn't look that hard. Everyone says like the ones that you make at home are like superior. So the, we're out of these now. So maybe I'll try making them from scratch. All right, those are toasting. While those are toasting, we are going to, oh shoot, I forgot about the, the bacon. All right. What do you need a booboo pack for? What happened? Let me see. I think we have a boo-boo pack in here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Boo-boo pack. You want me to put it on for you or you got it? Is that better? Okay. So we only have one pan and this is literally what we have. One pan, two pots, and I really wanna get my own pan because this one is like a non-toxic one, but I think I'm supposed to use, I can't remember if I'm supposed to use olive oil or avocado oil. I think avocado oil, because it's high heat. Anyone else's toddler just whine nonstop? I know you hear him crying in the background, but just so you know, he's okay. Oh, yummy, you wanna bite of this? One bite? Mmm, delicious. Pretty good, huh? You wanna make the eggs with me? Yeah? Okay. Nothing better than corn fresh eggs. Here, run it under water, under cold water. All right, go, oh, run it under the water. Oh, how better. Does that feel better? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good, I'm glad. There you go, good job. Nice work, honey. Yep. Good job, sweetie. Down and 12. Careful. 
So see over here how it's starting. We want to get that. I need like a non-toxic, non-stick pan. Any recommendations, anyone? Please leave them below. And so I cook chicken in the microwave because it's just easy. We only have one pan, so I guess I need to get another pan. You already are a great cooker. This is only my second time making ribs. I've only cooked them one other time, and my bonus dad was the one that taught me how to do it. So he said the hardest part is taking the membrane off of the ribs, which you guys know I was like vegan for over a decade. So all this meat stuff like is all new to me, and I really think I need to get like good knives because the ones I have are like really dull and don't work very well. Maybe I just need a knife sharpener. Let me know. Again, I'm all new to this cooking stuff, so we're kind of on this journey together. But let me get the ribs. Yeah, we're gonna make ribs, babe, and then we're gonna make our muffins, okay? But the ribs take like a really long time to make, like four hours or something. So, I will show you. This is what we got, this whole thing. 
was on sale for nine dollars looks like this they are baby back pork loin ribs yeah, we're gonna open them up rinse them off and i will show you how i prepare them if you've never made ribs before you're gonna learn how to do it with me right now i'm actually gonna wash all the dishes for breakfast right now because we don't have a garbage disposal set up Travis is gonna like make one for us but it's just a lot easier because i don't have a lot of kitchen like supplies and tools and things and we're very minimal over here <laughs> Because we originally were, you know, living in a motorhome for a while, and all of our stuff that we did own, we left at the cabin in Tehachapi, our Airbnb, to save on like costs because it was just so expensive. Everything to furnish a whole house. So a lot of our stuff was just left there for the business. Anyway, so we were very minimal. We had just a few things in the motorhome because we couldn't have a lot of stuff in the motorhome. It didn't fit. So we only have very minimal things. So I have to wash stuff in order to have plates and bowls and silverware. But this I found at the thrift store. This is an, like a old school egg beater and it's like the best thing ever. I love using this. They just work so well and I just like them. So, all right, we're gonna finish washing the dishes and I will show you how I prepare the ribs and then we'll make some muffins. You like those muffins? Mm -hmm. Are they delicious? Mm-hmm. Good. Got it all over your face. <laughs> here, come here. Let me get the rest off. I love you, buddy. <laughs> You're so cute. Whoa. This was actually left by one of the our house like three four houses ago these owners like left this i don't know if it was an accident probably an accident because i think these are expensive but this is like the best freaking knife i think they're really expensive but they work really well they're like family heirlooms you would like pass it down you know but i'm like I have been very tempted to go buy like a Cutco knife set just because of how nice they are. But I'm on a, a low buy right now. I was thinking of doing a no buy because we've spent so much money on the kitchen remodel and just like having to buy all new stuff for this house since we weren't able to get all of our stuff from our storage. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of on a low buy right now. So, like, only buying things we really need. Yeah. Mommy, can you just my cousin? Oh, you want to see your cousins, Bob? Yeah, can you FaceTime them? Sure. All right, we're going to go FaceTime the cousins. BRB. Yeah. All right, let's make some ribs. Did all the dishes. So, I haven't done this in a while. And again, this is, like, only my second time. So, let me get some scissors. I've been keeping in a jar, like, things I grab a lot to make it easier for me. So gross. <laughs> so there's like a membrane on the back side of the ribs that you're supposed to like get off. It's like the hardest part and takes the longest. But once you get that part off, then it gets a lot easier. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. Let's see how I'm like cutting off this like little membrane here that at least was what, how I was taught to like take this part off oh it's coming off really easy actually okay so like this is the part you want to get off and once you take all that off that wow, came off really easy actually Okay. 
think this just makes it easier to cook, I'm assuming. I don't know, I'm new to all this, so feel free to educate me in the comments. Next, we're going to preheat the oven to 275. Okay, and then I need help with like decorating <laughs> clearly because again, I didn't have my designer help me with any of this. We're gonna put a oven vent hood thing here. Yeah, we're just kind of like slowly working on things as we go. Um, all right, we need some aluminum foil. Cook the ribs in. We also need some spices. So we're gonna get salt pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to take Wait, I love this pan. I think I have it linked in my storefront, but this pan is amazing. I use it for everything. And I take that and take the ribs. And this is where we're going to do some spices. There we go. Some salt. We have some pepper. Garlic powder. So see, are you like breathing kind of funky over there or what? What's going on? A bit of onion powder. And I'll put it over. Do the same thing on the other side. So salt. Pepper. Pepper. And some pepper. Okay, and you press it into the meat. hear a cute story about this little tool so remember how i told you my bonus dad jim taught me how to make ribs well i didn't have one of these tools last time that he was facetiming me telling me how to do it and so i was doing it with my hands like you know wiping the barbecue sauce on there with my hands so the next time i saw him he got me this tool and gave it to me and i thought that was just so sweet and thoughtful so thank you jim all right, now we are going to take some barbecue sauce and I know we have some in here somewhere. Oh no, where's my barbecue sauce? I know I have some in here. Ah! So, found it. We find the best deals at this place called Grocery Outlet. $2.99 for this bottle of... Okay, so now you're gonna take barbecue sauce. Oh, it smells so good. And you're going to... Good job, Storm. Okay, get the spot over here where it doesn't have any. Nice job, bud. You brush the sauce on this side and then flip it over. Storm, no whining, dude. Oh my god, I don't know if anyone else deals with whining like this, but it's just a lot. I'm gonna try to get this in the oven as quick as possible so I can put this on, try to get this one on a nap. He doesn't really take naps anymore, but sometimes once in a blue moon he will, and I think he really needs one right now, so. Okay, so we're going to make like an air pocket with the, the ribs. The foil is supposed to help kind of steam it. And it gets really juicy, so that's why I put a pan underneath. And at 275, you kind of slow cook these in the oven for three and a half, four hours. And you just stick it in the oven like that. And then we're gonna set the timer for four hours. I know ribs can seem, if you've never made them before, they can seem kind of like scary and overwhelming, but they're actually really easy. It just takes a long time, but you're not doing anything, you know, it's just staying in the oven for a while, so. 
anyway, I just wanted to share how easy that was. Um, and then when it's done, you take it out. I think you add maybe a little bit more barbecue sauce, throw it in for maybe another hour, I don't know, 20 minutes. And then when it like falls off the bone, that's how you know it's ready. And they're so good. I love ribs. This is why I want a non-stick pan, but I know that the most non-sticks are like really toxic. So I know they have non-toxic, non-stick pans. I just need to do a little bit of research, but if any of you guys know of any healthy ones, that would save me from, because I put the freaking oil in the pan. I heated it up, I let the pan get a little bit hot, then I put the oil in, but if it's not like perfectly oiled everywhere, <laughs> you have a, such a big mess to clean. And this has been soaking for like hours now and it's still hard to get off. And again, we only have one pan. <laughs> if I wanna make more things, I have to clean them. But you know, first world problems over here. Like, I'm fine. Grateful for this pan. Yes, honey. All right, I'm gonna finish cleaning this and then we're gonna make another batch of my protein. Milk. I should also add that our kids do not drink any like orange juice, apple juice, unless like a special occasion and we're like out and about. For the most part, all they drink is water or some of my electrolyte water um, or lemon water. So they drink out of these Camelback water bottles. I love these. We've tried a bunch of different ones and these ones are like BPA free. Um, I would prefer the glass ones, but they would break those even with the cover on them, most likely. So yeah, I just always, and they're super cute, like, look how adorable that is. Um, I'll link these in my storefront. And then this is Snows, and they just use the same bottle every day. We just wash them and they stick to get a little bit dirty, and as long as you only keep water, in these, they don't get like moldy or funky inside the straws. If you start putting juice in them, even like that electrolyte water packet thing that I have, that's when they start to get like moldy inside the straw. So we just don't give them juice in here, just water only. And yeah, they work great. Lasts a really long time. We've had these for years. So. wanted that muffin but he wasn't able to eat it because there was a bite taken out of it and he thought it was broken so these tantrums meltdowns last for like an hour or more and you can maybe hear him still screaming in the background i put him in his room with a tablet to help calm him down huh we help calm him down yeah because he just gets so upset and it's hard for them to like calm down so i'm gonna make another batch of muffins right now and Snow is gonna help me. Mm -hmm. You like making muffins, huh? You're such a good helper. Yeah. <laughs> and I love when you cook with me. It's so fun. We need to get you a little apron. Yeah. I had one for you, but I don't know where it is. I think I left it at the cabin. Yeah. But I think we could put our hair back so that we don't get food in our hair and the food and the hair doesn't get in our food. And then also. Well, you can put it in the hair tie. Yeah, I'll put it in the hair tie, and then I'll give you mommy's apron, and you can wear that. Does that yeah. sound good? Yeah, are you excited to be with me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, honey, I love you so much. Mm. Let's bake. Get my heirloom bowl. I love these bowls so much. I use them for baking everything. And <laughs> you are such, such a little cutie. All right, let's get all our ingredients. 
guys. So what we need is, and I'll show you guys, I'll leave the recipe um, down below. Um, but we use brown sugar, chocolate chips, um, flour. We're gonna need baking soda, baking powder. Yeah. I love adding walnuts to this, but I don't have any. Other thing we're gonna need is your favorite protein powder. Um, we have like a, this is a spinach, or sorry, chocolate peanut butter one. This is yeah. what we're using. Um, it's got 20 grams of protein a scoop, so it's great to like, hold on, let me go help store really quick. You wanna talk to them for a little bit and tell them about the muffins we're making? I'll be right back. We're making the muffins. So, if you wanna enjoy this video, so you can make some muffins with us. So you just need to add this into the bowl. It has great ingredients. This tea has a lot of protein too. And see it has a lot of powder. And we're gonna use this and this. And chocolate. You can you need to make it only with chocolate too. Also only with this too because because if you want to make it, you need to make it with all these ingredients, right? So I hope you can enjoy this video. And subscribe and also subscribe to our channel. And we have a beautiful house. And also to bake and do a lot of fun night arts and crafts. Over there with all the waters. And we have pictures. And also we have some beds. A snow and storm bed. Right? So I hope you enjoy this video. You're adorable. All right, got storm settled. Now we are going to pull out my recipe. Yeah, mommy's recipe. That's for the recipe. Mm -hmm. And she has it on the list. See, that's to do the list. Yes, and we... It says to all those things. So this is actually a vegan... Um, it's vegan. Yeah, if you want to make it vegan, it's, it's all vegan. So here we go. It's all vegan. Yes, it is. Right. So get some butter. So you need butter too. So that's butter to do. Mm -hmm. And first you warm it up. Yes, we warm up the butter. Yeah, warm up the butter. butter. Then you get a spoon just like this. You mix it all up. Just like that. Then it turns in brown. I forgot to put an apron in your hair back, whoops. So this is how you do it. Then see, it turned all brown. Keep mixing, you gotta mix it really well. So this is how you can do it. Looking good. Looking good too. I just realized that we're baking the ribs and we only have one pan. One pan. <laughs> and we don't have cupcake. No. A cupcake muffin pan. No. Yeah, we don't. And I don't. ordered silicone, like reusable silicone. Yeah. Liners. Liners. I got some like cheap ones from Walmart. And we're just filling, yeah. filling and how I've been making the muffins. And and just there are rainbows. Yeah, I've just been filling like batter in here with no. And then you just fill it in there. Yeah, with no cupcake liner. No cupcake liner. <laughs> I was using that pan that the ribs are on. So now I don't, I, I have to wait to bake these until the ribs are done, which is like another two hours. So we're gonna put this on hold, wait a couple hours till the ribs get out, then we'll be able to bake these. So. BRB until then. Time for a little snack. While we are waiting for our ribs to digest, wash these fresh oranges. Can I do it on the hard one? And I want blue orange. Yes. No, I also want a pink one. Mommy, can you please buy one for me? Here, I'm gonna go put 
put these at the table, we can all share oranges as a snack. These guys my Yes, honey, I will get you guys some roller skates, but let's eat first, okay? Yum. Those are really good. Okay, you need me to get you a little washcloth? Okay. I like all the juice. I know. But I don't like all the juice. Mm. Mm. Because it's yummy. Yes. Yeah. I love God. Honey, God created us. Mm. He loves you more than mommy loves you, believe it or not. And that's really a lot of love. But mommy, why why do we why do we don't want to break the law? Why? Because it feels really bad and it's not the right thing to do. Mm -mm. We, it feels good to be good. It feels good to do the right thing and to be kind and yeah. help others. Help others. Yeah. Here, baby. Here. <laughs> God is good. Mm -hmm. mm. Who does break the law? We don't break the law, honey. But who? Bad people. Uh huh. That are on the wrong path. Who? Nobody we know, honey. Mm. Some people are lost. Mm -hmm. They don't know God. They don't know God. Mm -mm. Um, and that's why they break the law? Maybe sometimes, maybe sometimes they're having a really hard time and they just need help. Yeah, just need help. Yeah, and that's why you are kind to people because sometimes they're hurt or they didn't have no, good mommies and daddies me. growing up. So sometimes people don't have good mommies and daddies, they didn't teach them how to be kind. And so that's why it's important that we always spread love and kindness because there's a lot of people in this world that really need it. Mom, And it's our job to spread love and kindness to others who really need it. Yeah, just like that, honey. And that's how you pray. You're so cute. Mommy, pray. Okay, you want to pray with me? You, Here, you sure. pray with me. Okay, I'll pray with you, honey. Here. Okay, let's pray. Do you want to say it out loud so I can hear it? You can do it with me. Okay, dear God. Dear God. Thank you. Thank you. For this day. For this day. Everything that you've given us. Goodness. And I'm just so, so grateful, grateful to have to have our family, our family, and all the delicious food that we get to yeah, eat. That we get to eat. And I'm praying for all the other people in this all world. The other people in this world that are sick. That are sick. Or need a home. Or need a home. Or need love. Or need love. Or are struggling. Are struggling. And I just pray for them. I just pray for them. And I hope that they get what they need. I hope that they get what they need. And I pray that maybe. Uh, I pray that me that maybe one day. One day. That God. That God. Will maybe. Will maybe send us another. Send us another little baby brother or another, sister. Another baby brother or sister that really needs a good home. Good home, and that maybe their mommy and daddy, yeah, mommy and daddy, are not able to take care not of them. Able to take care of them, and they just really need a safe place. Just really need a safe place, and a lot of good love. And a lot of good love, and a family. And a family to love them, to love them, and take care of them, and take care of them, and. Also, I just pray for. I just pray for everybody. Everybody. And thank you for giving me this wonderful life. This wonderful life. Amen. Amen. That's how you pray. <laughs> and anytime that you're having a hard day mm -hmm. or you're happy or you're sad or anytime you can talk to God. Yeah. And he'll, he's always listening. Okay? He's up in heaven and he's always listening and he's everywhere we are. Yeah. And all and the time. And also he's hearing us. 
Yeah, he hears us all the time. He's always, always with us. Okay? You're never alone. Well, I am, but it's not really bad. So I need a cane. You need a cane? Okay, go get your cane. <laughs> <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> Hold on, let me get your cane. The kids are so funny. They, I don't know where they saw it, but they, especially Snow has like a fascination with like wheelchairs and canes and she always wants them. She's like, I can't walk, I need a wheelchair. Like, here you go. So I found them at the thrift store. I heard one of, one of them wanted the cane so, for like a toy to play with. So I was like, okay, there was a bunch at the thrift store. <laughs> like the best $5 toy. Sorry, I have like oranges in my teeth. Um, and then I, and I only got one. Um, and then they've been like fighting over the cane. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to find another wooden cane. So they don't fight. Hey babe. I loved this. It was so inspiring. This is how I remembered that I had that little antler outside. So I was like, oh, I love this like moody, dark blue color. And it kind of reminds me of the cabin, like what we did with the cabin. Um, but I saw the antlers, how they like kind of decorated with them. And I loved like bringing in like that nature, like natural, I don't know, like, you know, blends with your area. Oh, where did it go? <laughs> Just like casually chilling on our chair, dining room chair. Anyway, I washed it with soap and water and I just like am temporarily kind of just keeping it here um, for now. I mean, it looks fine like that, but I was thinking it'd kind of be cool if we could like, I don't know, maybe do something like that. Like, do you think that looks kind of fun and somehow mount it up with like a bracket and then see all these little like one, two, three, four. I could like hang four different tea towels to dry there, you know? So I don't know, let me know what you guys think. What my original idea was, was to um, like put one here and also on the other side of the curtain to use as like a curtain, like, you know, to hold the curtains back. Cause I thought that'd be kind of cool. Um, but now I need to look out for deer shedding season so I can start collecting them um, just like naturally if I find them to use for home decor because I think it's really cool. So anyway, still waiting for the freaking ribs. They take forever. I'm hoping, I've never waited this long to like bake the muffins after making the, the batter. So I hope it doesn't like mess it up at all. I've just had it like kind of covered over here. So I'm gonna keep that covered until ribs are out and then I can bake those. But yeah, in the meantime, I was just looking at this and also just trying to figure out if I wanted to make like some sort of a dessert. I've been really wanting to make creme brulee. I had it for the first time at one of my um, retreats that I went to, one of my women's retreats that I was speaking at and I'd never had it before. Um, and it was so good. So I was like, oh my God, this is delicious. Um, so I found a dairy-free version because Travis loves vanilla custard and I really like it too. Um, and I realized that's kind of what's in the creme brulee. And so, I got some sugar. I have coconut, I have a can of coconut milk. Um, and I have eggs. I need to figure out how to make it without the eggs for Travis. Um, but I kind of want to make it with the eggs for me and the kids to have extra protein. Um, so I was thinking of making that, but I might wait and make it tomorrow because my mom's coming over for dinner tomorrow and she's gonna help me make these like yummy sushi rolls for the kids and like a sushi bake. And then also maybe we can make the creme brulee with her. So yeah, maybe I'll just wait for tomorrow. I made a really big mistake and I am supposed to cook the ribs with the meat side down. My bonus dad, Jim, is like the barbecue expert. And so he's the one that taught me how to do this. And I just realized like two hours in that, or over two hours in, that I have them the wrong side in there. So I'm gonna pull them out and flip them over. So at least um, the last like two hours will be cooking them properly. He said it's still gonna be fine and turn out fine and you'll still be able to eat them. But the reason that you cook them with the meat side down is so that all the juices like get into the meat. Um, so he just said just add a little bit of extra barbecue sauce. So I have been cooking mine for, um, what it says is to cook them for four hours at 275. And then after the four hours, pull them out, 
add more barbecue sauce onto each side and then put them back in for 20 minutes and then pull them out, let them cool and enjoy. And they're really good for like leftovers also because it's like a huge rack of ribs and it's just me and the kids eating them. And then we make like rib sandwiches after um, and they're just delicious. So I'm going to attempt to flip it over right now, but <laughs> try not to spill the juices everywhere. Wish me luck. because if not, it gets everywhere and makes a huge mess. Here, Storm. My shoe got a birthday. My shoe got a birthday. Hey, come on, guys. Stop. No, stop tickling him. Listen. I scared. You know that I don't like you guys eating on the couch and I only make exceptions sometimes, so be sweet. Hey. We don't restrict food at all here. Kids have access to chips, popcorn, you know, really whatever they want. Are you okay? So they know that that's in there. They also have um, two drawers with like snacks and bars and pouches. Um, and so they know where all that's at. They know that the muffins are up there. So they kind of help themselves throughout the day. Um, or if they want something, they'll, you know, they'll ask me. But we also have like fruit over here that they're, you know, can go grab whenever they want. More fruit down here. So yeah, that's kind of like how we, I don't know if people do it differently in their house, but that's kind of how we do it in our house. Also another really big thing, by the way, I just have to like show this view because I feel like it, I don't know, it makes you feel like peaceful inside and I want to share that with you. I know that um, different parents have different rules and do you, but for us, I never restrict food, like ever. It could be the middle of the night. If they say they're hungry, I'm getting up and I'm going to make them food. Um, and it's annoying because it happens often. We're like, I tell them like, okay, eat your food because we're gonna go to bed soon. And then as soon as we get in bed and everyone's comfortable, they're like, we're hungry. But you best believe I'm getting up and making them food because I never want my kids to be hungry. Um, I don't care when or what time it is so so i am welcoming all welcoming all design tips and advice <laughs> for the open shelving i want it to be like functional though i don't want it just to like look pretty i want it to be like okay i have my like cookbooks up here and like there's some you know like aesthetically things that make me happy or bring me joy like this old scale i found at the thrift store um but like these easy access to um, my bowls that I use all the time and same with like, you know, cooking tools and things that we keep here, our salt that we use all the time. Now I am gonna have a snack. I'm gonna go into the garden. Oh, so beautiful out. I can't wait until our blueberries are ready. You guys see them? More there. And then our raspberries are starting to, that's our little fig tree. Our raspberries are starting to bloom. You can see one there. And let's see. Let's see our little squash sprouting there. There'll be tomatoes soon. I can't wait to get some little cherry tomatoes for what I'm about to make now. But I was gonna go over to our greens box. Our little greens box is right there, but take a quick look. There's our green beans, green squash, lots of fun stuff. 
growing in our garden. Cucamelons, cucumbers. Oh, I can't wait till all of this is spreading. And then I did like a pumpkin patch, watermelon, sunflowers. So I'm really excited. I hope it hope it does well. And then I planted some stuff in these rows also. But it's just gonna come out here. We had a bunch of greens yesterday. Travis made a big salad, so there's not as much left, but I might just take a little bit from here just to add in a little something into my little... I was just gonna have avocado and sea salt, but I figured I might add a little bit of lettuce to it from the garden. this to my water and it makes it taste better and making sure I get all my electrolytes. The only downside is it's so freaking expensive. So I was looking up like how do you make your own electrolyte water and they were saying like oh like sea salt, lemon. So I might try to do that but to me like my health is the most important thing and so if I have to spend a little bit of extra money on freaking electrolyte powder that makes it like bite. It has like the exact minerals to make it bioavailable to you like when you actually take it although i think i read something somewhere that was like electrolyte water is a scam because it doesn't like actually make it bioavailable for you or something i don't know who knows anymore but what i do know is if i don't have it i don't feel good so i'm just doing what works for me it's the longest what i eat in a day video ever probably but that's great mm -hmm. Travis taught me a trick with avocado. If you take it like that and then twist, the little like pit comes out really easily. So fun little trick. I like to just make slice inside while it's still on the skin. And then I just make little cubes. And then I take a spoon and I just scoop it out. And then it's like perfect little cubes. Like once you get it in and I am going to and I'm going to scoop up the avocado and just stick it in there and then roll it up like a little lettuce wrap <laughs> mm. so simple it's so fresh and light it's a great little snack to hold you over for dinner. There is nothing better than like vegetables grown in your own backyard. It's so fresh, like the taste is unmatched. You can't get stuff like this at the grocery store. Mm. The kids are so happy playing. Oh god. Another snack. Freaking ribs are taking forever. So little trick that I do when the bag starts to get low. Okay. I cut it so that it's easier to get to the veggie sticks. <laughs> they're so good. Mm. That's what I'm having. The kids are about to join in when they're done brushing their teeth. Okay. And me too, because we're going to get cavities. And we need to go to the dentist right now. Mm. But, but almost open. <laughs> Their dentist appointment is coming up. Oh, and the dentist 
appointment is going to come up. Mm -hmm. Soon we all brush our teeth. Okay, the ribs are almost ready. So we're going to pull them out of the oven, add a little bit more barbecue sauce, and let them bake for another 20 minutes with that extra sauce. And then they're ready to come out. The whole house smells like ribs. So when I flip them over, it looks like I got a bunch of juice out and it's now baked black into my pan. My only pan. <laughs> I really hope I didn't ruin it. They look, oh my gosh, they're already like falling off the bone. Hold on, you gotta see this. Alright. This is what it looks like. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Alright, so we're gonna add. Okay, fam, here we go. I only have a kitchen tool. I got this at the thrift store. It's like perfect for trying to. Oh my gosh, they're literally gonna fall right off the bone. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. All right, let me figure out how to get some of this juice out. This is like, is this how bad I am at cooking and how bad my brain fog has been? Like, I don't know the smartest way of getting this juice out without burning my hands. Oh, I have an idea. Paper towels. Get the juice out that way. Actually, ah, hot. Watch my mom do this with, uh, I can't remember what, something we were cooking the other day. Oh my gosh, there's so much extra juice. All right, well, got some of it out, and now I'm gonna flip this over without it coming apart. And I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Dang it. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> That's how you know it's ready. It literally fell off the bone. All right, I'm not gonna be able to do the, I don't think I need to put it back in. I'm just gonna let it, I'm gonna let it cool and I'm just gonna add the barbecue sauce on after because this tells me it's like definitely ready. Right, turn the oven off and I'm gonna let this cool. I should probably put it on like a plate maybe to let it cool down some more. So I will take, plates and I'm gonna put like half on one plate half on another let it cool and then I'll put some more barbecue sauce on look at that oh my gosh literally falling off the bone <laughs> just take the bone off Delicious ribs of your life. And you are just gonna be so happy when you taste these. They're gonna melt in your mouth. Yeah, that would be so delicious. It's all done. It is, baby. It is all done. We're just gonna Yummy. let them. Let them. Okay, hold on, it's very, very hot. Oh, well, hold on, baby cakes, it's really hot. I don't want you guys to burn yourselves. Now let those cool, add some more barbecue sauce, and the ribs will be done. Blowing it, okay? Do you want to use your hands or you want a fork? I know you want a fork. Yeah, fork. Yes, I know you want a fork. So, see, do you want a fork? Mm -hmm, yes. Hey. Yes. Enjoy, my little loves. <laughs> Smell good? Here you go. And here you go. Thanks. You're welcome. Here, I'll give you a little piece. Okay, blow on it. Keep blowing. Is it too hot? Or is it good? because it might be a little warm. I just want to make sure you don't burn your mouth. Mama, I'm going to blow it myself. Okay, bud. Okay. How is it? Good. Mm -hmm. I want to do it. Me, me, me. Okay, go ahead. I like it. All right, well, 
ribs are a hit. Then whatever they don't eat, I will eat. And that will be our dinner. I don't think travel is gonna be home anytime soon, so I'll probably get the kids to bed before he's home. But just wanted to share what we eat today. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And if you like these really long type of videos, let me know if you want us to cut them down into shorter videos. Also let me know down in the comments. But thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my, oh shoot. I gotta bake the muffins. I almost forgot about those. Literally ending the vlog. Ending the video without baking the muffins. So. Let me reset the oven while they are eating their ribs. Yeah, I'm okay. I went to go try to clean the pan so that we can bake the cupcakes since we only have one pan. And I went to pick it up and burnt my hands. So it's still so hot. Gonna let that cool BRB. Clean the pan. Now, I am going to get the cupcake liners. I've literally been sitting like for hours now. There's no like dairy or eggs in it, so I think it should be over. Alright, here we go. Bake the muffins. I put these in at 350 for 15 minutes. Alright, why the muffins are baking? The kids are now playing, so I'm gonna eat some of the ribs. And I will let you guys know what I think. Mm. Wow. Really, really freaking good. Mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. Literally just the meat just falls completely off the bone. Is so amazing and definitely worth the four hours it takes to bake. And they're really easy. They're not hard to do. Ate almost half a rack of baby back ribs. They were delish. Okay, my timer just went off for the muffins, but they did not look ready. Not even close to being ready. I hope I didn't screw up by letting them sit for so long. We'll see. I'm gonna put my timer on for another, I don't know, five minutes. The reason those were not ready was because the oven was off and I didn't realize it because it was still warm from the ribs. So I just turned it back on and we're gonna try this again. Okay, now they're ready. Just transferring them to a cooling rack. All right, here they are. They are absolutely delicious. I would highly recommend you try them. I usually put chocolate chips on the top and sprinkle some of that like flaky sea salt. And I add walnuts and it's so delicious. It's not cooled down yet, but for video purposes, I'll just open it up so you can kind of see what it looks like. But it is so good. The kids love it. Literally made a batch every single day. And yeah. Mm. So good. All right, you guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Sending you all my love and all my positive energy. Mm -hmm.